Well, hello. I'm about to go for a sail. We're still in COVID in Sydney. That's why I've got to wear a face mask on the ramp. Um, but you are allowed to go as long as you stay within your local government area. And luckily, our local government area goes all the way along this borderway. Sailing Kate Louise. Yes, uh, we're in lockdown in Sydney and have been for about three months now, and uh, it's getting pretty bad. The last few days it's been up to 800, 900 cases a day, which worldwide is probably not horrendous, but for Sydney it's the worst it's ever been. So you've got to wear a mask everywhere outdoors. But I did check with the Marine Enforcement Agency about sailing, and you can sail in your local government area if you've got a water boundary which you're not allowed to go overnight because that's not counted as recreation. Or oh, sorry, that's counted as recreation, not exercise. So I'm about half an hour north of the Sydney CBD in the Kuringai National Park. I've put in an Apple Tree Bay boat ramp, which is just north of Bobbin Head. And I do apologize for my flying skills. I haven't quite got my Google Earth pilot's license yet. I'm going to head about seven kilometres up to Cottage Point. This waterway is beautiful and in summer it's quite popular with people on yachts coming for overnight anchorages. And from there it's another two kilometres to Castle Lagoon. Um, there is meant to be five to seven knots most of the day but here it's very protected so we'll have to see when we get out there if there's any more wind. I'm glad to be out of the house, going a bit stir crazy with lockdown and working from home. Anyway, enjoy. Yes, so old Kate Louise hasn't been in the water for three months. I hope everything's okay. Not a lot of wind. Get all excited and then it just stops. It's not a single person out here. Beautiful. But there is a bit of wind, so that's good. Just going past Cottage Point, and as you can see, there's no wind at all. Been a very frustrating morning, but I was desperate to get back on the water, having not been for a sail for about three months. I'm not sure this really counts as a sail. I think I've motored most of the way, but it is very peaceful. There's no one around because of lockdown. So, uh, yeah, beats being stuck at home. Well, it's about one o'clock and I've decided to turn for home. Um, if this wind doesn't come up, it's gonna take me quite a while to get back. So um, it's not really a good sailing day. I'm a bit disappointed, I'll be honest. Uh, but there you go. I've been down here many times before and it is, as I said before, pretty fickle, the wind down here. Even though windy and willy weather, so it should be five knots northeasterly. 
be lucky if you've got one knot. Anyway, there are worse things happening in the world at the moment, so I should be grateful. Very different from summer when you've got jet skis and cruises going up and down. Very different. Quite strange, really. Cottage Point seems almost like a ghost town. Decided to take a little detour on the way back to the top of Smith's Creek. Uh, this is the first little bay in Smith's Creek and Smith's Creek goes all the way down there. And you might remember from a few few of my videos, I've tried to get right down the bottom, but if there's no wind, it's really hard. But uh, I don't know, maybe the wind's picking up a bit. Much nicer when there's a bit of breeze. So I'm just trying to see how how shallow it gets. That whirring you can hear is the torpedo prop spinning. Because of the mizzen, I can't really lift the uh, torpedo out of the water when we're sailing, so uh, it spins. The water is a little bit chilly getting on and off the trailer, but um, not unbearable. We're now towards the end of August, so uh, it should be starting to warm up a bit. Spring's not far away. Anyway, next time I promise there'll be some wind. Thanks for watching Sailing Kate Louise.